hair transplants look like the ultimate fix. Pay once, get your hair back forever, right? Well, not exactly, because what most people don't realize is that a transplant only moves hair from one area to another. It doesn't stop the process of hair loss itself. So today, let's break down what actually lasts longer a hair transplant or natural and medical regrowth treatments. And by the end, you'll know which one's truly worth your time and money. Let's start with transplants, the instant solution everyone talks about. There are two main types, FUE and FUT. Both involve taking hair follicles from the back or sides of your head, where hair is usually resistant to DHT, and transplanting them into bald or thinning areas. Now when done well, the results can look amazing. But here's the catch. A transplant doesn't protect your existing hair. So while the transplanted follicles may stay, the native ones around them can still thin and fall out if the root cause isn't treated. That's why so many people end up needing a second or even third session after a few years. Transplants also depend on how much donor hair you have. If you've got diffuse thinning or advanced baldness, there might not be enough healthy follicles to cover the entire scalp. And even if you do, it's not just about moving hair, it's about maintaining it. Because unless you address the hormonal and nutritional causes, the hair around the transplanted area will keep miniaturizing over time. That's where regrowth treatments come in. Regrowth treatments like minoxidil, microneedling, PRP, or low-level laser therapy don't just cover up the problem. They aim to reactivate dormant follicles. Minoxidil improves blood flow and prolongs the growth phase of the hair cycle. Microneedling stimulates collagen and growth factors in the scalp. And PRP, using your own platelet-rich plasma, delivers bioactive proteins that can trigger new growth. They're not instant fixes, but when done consistently and with proper scalp health, they can slow, stop, or even reverse thinning in many cases. So which one actually lasts? Here's the truth, a transplant gives you instant density, but it's only permanent if you maintain the rest of your hair. Regrowth treatments take longer to show results, but they work on the cause, not just the symptom. The smartest approach? Combine both. Use regrowth treatments before and after a transplant to stabilize your hair loss. That way, you're protecting the new hair and the existing one. Before you decide on a transplant, get a proper scalp and follicle analysis. Because sometimes what looks like permanent hair loss is actually reversible. Tools like MyHair.ai can analyze your scalp, identify the root causes, whether hormonal, nutritional or genetic, and tell you what your follicles actually need to recover. So instead of jumping into surgery, you can make a personalized plan that actually lasts. At the end of the day, no matter what you choose, transplant or regrowth, remember that consistency and diagnosis are everything. Quick fixes don't last. Understanding your hair does. Check out myhair.ai to get a free scalp and hair analysis. It might just save you thousands and years of frustration.